Hey guys, what is up and I welcome each and every one of you to a new Tesla update video. So as usual today, we're gonna to go right into it, talk about the Tesla or the market Tesla, what happened, what we can expect for the rest of the week. And as usual, if you guys enjoy, please don't forget to hit the like button if you find the videos useful, informative, whatever. Uh, and especially, of course, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification so you get these updates and these videos as soon as possible. Because again, it is, of course, time sensitive. But nonetheless, guys, Tesla ending the day, $761.61, up just over 5%, 5.14%, which is great. So this is essentially what I wanted to see for today. I talked about this yesterday, how, you know, even though we closed a little bit lower than I wanted to, it's fine, not a huge deal. It's only one day. And we essentially completely, uh, you know, spiked right above that today which is great and i said how i wanted to see kind of you know a relatively strong ish uh, day green day coming up to kind of give us you know some starting momentum if you will and this is essentially more or less what i wanted to see on top of that we also ended up closing above 760 dollars which is also pretty decent as well so all in all i would say uh, quite a successful day i'm actually quite happy with the results now that doesn't mean that we're just going to skyrocket back up to like you know 840 or something like that like tomorrow or even necessarily this week it could obviously you never know this market is possible but uh, it does mean that, in my opinion at least, that, you know, this means that, you know, we're essentially, I'm more confident that we are probably going to, at some point, whether it's this week, whether it's next week, maybe it's in two weeks, uh, probably come up to like somewhere, you know, in that like mid uh, 800 level at least, uh, and, and kind of see what happens there. And then we can, of course, you know, revisit and kind of go from there, right? which is good. So one thing that uh, I will point out though, however, guys, is that we did not fill the gap from this morning, which is right here. I'll put it on the three minutes so it's a bit easier. So you can see here uh, the gap from today and this morning, right? We uh, ended up closing yesterday at around $724. We actually did not gap fill. We got to 728, which is about, uh, you know, well, actually about 729. So about, uh, you know, a five point ish uh, difference there. I don't consider that filled. I need, I would want to see at least under a dollar, uh, with without it like truly filling. I, I want to see at least no more than a dollar of a you know remaining, I guess gap if you will, uh, for it's even remotely be considered filled in my opinion. So I personally don't consider that filled. So that's something to keep in mind. However, with that being said, we also still have a gap all the way up here that still technically needs to be filled at uh just over one thousand two hundred and twenty one dollars. So like I said, not every single gap will be filled. Uh, most of them will, but not every single gap. It's not, you know, not 100% of gaps get filled. That's just not how it works. But again, you know, about nine out of 10 will. Uh, and, you know, this is a decent example of, you know, all the way back in uh, November 5th of 2021, we left this gap and we haven't filled it yet. And it's been substantially, you know, it's been a quite a while since this uh, time period, let's just say that. And it's still very much there, this gap. So just, you know, keep, keep in mind that not every single gap has to get filled, nor does it have to get filled, you know, literally tomorrow or even next week or even next month or even next year right just keep that in mind anyways with that being said and done guys overall i would say successful day i'm actually quite happy with what i see here let's take a quick look at the one hour chart this is probably my favorite short term ish chart uh which is of course you know kind of you know giving us an indicator as to what we can expect you can see here tesla actually not looking too bad so you can see even though tesla is the chart is not necessarily going much higher than this level here where tesla uh when the rsi over here was at uh, about 53 almost 54 uh, tesla stock price was sitting at around you know 780 roughly the rsi is pretty much exactly there almost again but we're still like you know more underneath the price uh, on the national stock price over here like the difference is much larger in the national stock chart than it is on the rsi the rsi is essentially almost saying as if we're back at like 775 roughly when we're obviously not there's still a bit of a ways to get there um so that's something to keep in mind but uh yeah so we're that's to me a bullish divergence which means that the rsi is usually in my opinion a leading indicator in these kind of instances which is a good thing of course now uh one other thing to keep in mind is the fact that the moving average you can see here i have the five day moving average is uh sitting at currently 743 we're of course closing well above that which is also another good sign that is showing that there is a potential reversal now i want to see this hold and i want to see us remain above this five day moving average without closing below it within the next about you know two to three days uh that's important as well and the final thing of course is this candle is a nice looking hammer candle of course you know uh it could be a little bit better but i would say it's a fairly close uh you know bullish looking camera uh, hammer candle which is also another indicator that you know essentially is leading uh me to believe that there is going to be overall just more upside uh going through now the volume has been slightly decreased but it's not too much less than average which is fine i'm not really too worried about that i don't really care too much about that and all in all guys I'm, I'm thinking you know what it's looking quite good it's looking quite bullish and i'm looking and feeling good about this current move that's setting up again this doesn't mean that we're just going to rally straight up to like 840 or something like that tomorrow or even necessarily this week we still will have some red days here and there of course that's just how it works but overall as long as 
as this trend remains and as long as we essentially don't really close too far below uh, 730 roughly and especially this five day moving average, which is around 740, low 740s at the moment. And as long as we're essentially maintaining above that, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling bullish. The RSI on the daily is looking like it wants to cross this kind of, you know, average um, the median if median if you will which is also good if we do that and we're like pretty much right just barely above it peeking our head out so all in all guys i must admit uh yeah it's feeling good I i'm feeling good i'm feeling pretty bullish on the short term uh, time frame here and yeah i like i like the way the chart is looking i like the way things are being set up and um yeah i'm feeling good so i think we're gonna have you know some decent uh you know moves coming up uh maybe this week maybe next week depends on how fast it goes really but of course we'll uh visit those moves as they happen every single day and i'll update you guys with my thoughts but other than that guys that is about it for this video let me know what you think down below and i'll see you for the next one peace